there Pitch Perfect Vocal Students, you're with Mirabelle and we are continuing our series on the introduction to vowel, vowel structure and vowel formation. Uh, I teach six vowels because I teach a variant of the R vowel and I teach them in a particular progression because that progression follows the natural form of the tongue as it moves in the vocal tract to form those vowels. And we start with the tongue being in a neutral back position and as it moves through those vowels, it rises and spreads and comes forward in the mouth. So the structure that I teach is U, O, A, A, E, and E. And we're up to the E vowel, which has some particular characteristics of its own. The easiest way to explain the E vowel is that it is the first of the two forward vowels. U and O are the back vowels. A and E are the middle vowels, and E and E are the forward vowels. So with E, we also have some characteristics. We have a long sound and a short sound. The long sound is carried in words like ver, hair, and where, and the short sound in words like lead, fed, egg, and hedge. In singing, we're always going to want to sing the long sound, even when we have short sounding words. So in singing, you're going to have to make a decision, depending on the phrase that you're singing, as to whether or not you hold an air vowel open or whether you hold it closed. The other thing that may decide whether or not you sing it as a more open sound or a closed sound is where it lies in your range. If you've got an air vowel word that is high, and you are struggling to hold the vowel open, you may want to go to a more truncated or compressed um, shape to the vowel. And as we go forward in this progression of videos, we'll have some examples. But I'll try and play a few examples. <laughs> choosing to hold that vowel open. As I go higher in my voice I've taught myself to hold the vowel more and more open um, but when I first started singing I tended to go to a more compressed e eh position but that was also natural as a classical singer. Anyway there's the introduction to the e eh vowel. The next video will be about the e vowel and then I'll try and tie things together um, with a more progressive video after that. See you on the other side. Bye!